Takami from uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology. Uh, let's welcome. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. And uh, yeah, and uh, I would like to uh, thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to uh, uh, present uh, some uh, collaborative work with uh, Chu-chan and uh, with uh, with other uh, colleagues of mine. So, <coughs> so uh, uh, the collaborators of, of this uh, uh, presentation is, uh, of course, uh, uh, Chu-chan and uh, uh, Naoto Nagaosa and. Uh, for the more recent work, I, I'm collaborating with uh, these people, uh, Dr. Hirayama and Okugao, who uh, were uh, former, stu uh, former uh, group members, and uh, uh, with, uh, also with uh, Dr. Miyake and Ichibashi in uh, uh, Tsukuba. So uh, <coughs> uh, let me uh, first uh, introduce uh, some of uh, some uh, my uh, uh, research uh, with uh, Shu-chan. So uh, uh, my uh, uh, the correlation with uh, Shu Chan uh, began with uh, uh, this uh, SO5 theory of uh, super conductivity and uh, magnetism uh, when I uh, stayed in uh, Stanford as a, a visiting scholar in uh, in the year uh, 1999. So uh, uh, at, at that time I, uh, I enjoyed uh, discussion with uh, Shu Chan and also with uh, uh, many uh, brilliant people like uh, uh, Sui Hong and uh, uh, Jampin and uh, Andre and uh, Eugene and uh, uh, many others. And uh, after, uh, after that, uh, we, we happen to have uh, uh, good chances uh, to have our uh, uh, collaboration on the uh, intrinsic uh, spin hole effect. And uh, we, we wrote uh, uh, three papers uh, in a row uh, like this. And uh, uh, yeah, for <coughs> and uh, uh, let me uh, tell you some uh, stories uh, how uh, this uh, idea of the intrinsic uh, spin hole effect uh, came out. So uh, <coughs> uh, in the uh, year 2002, uh, uh, I and uh, Shu-chan and uh, uh, Naoto uh, uh, discussed uh, over the lunch. And uh, we discussed uh, how uh, we can extend uh, the idea of, uh, of uh, anomalous uh, Hall effect. So uh, at that time, uh, Naoto and I uh, collaborated uh, on, a, on uh, anomalous Hall effect. And uh, we, are now, uh, we, we, we were trying to uh, extend this idea. And uh, we, we end up with the idea of uh, extending charge uh, into spins. So uh, uh, at that time, we, uh, we used uh, this kind of a semi-classical equation motion as a uh, theoretical tool uh, to calculate the uh, anomalous Hall effect. And the uh, immediate uh, idea is that uh, if we uh, have the uh, spin of a coupled system, and uh, then this uh, very curvature uh, naturally uh, becomes uh, spin-dependent, uh, so that uh, it may have a spin-dependent uh, Hall effect. So at that time, uh, I didn't uh, realize that it is uh, so interesting, uh, but uh, uh, Shu-chan was uh, obviously very uh, excited about that. And uh, we, uh, after the discussion, uh, we he came up uh, with the following ideas, uh, namely, uh, uh, previously, uh, the, of course, the Hall effect is uh, uh, is uh, considered to be pos possible only for uh, magnetic system. But uh, uh, with, with the, this uh, spin of a couple system, uh, we can have this uh, uh, kind of a variant of a Hall effect uh, also possible in uh, non-magnetic uh, systems. And uh, this uh, naturally leads us to the notion of a pure spin current. And uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, it is uh, of course, a uh, uh, brilliant idea. Uh, th that uh, we use the Latinger model uh, for p-type uh, semiconductors uh, because, uh, of course, uh, he, he has uh, uh, much e experience on a SO5 uh, topology, so it is uh, kind of very natural uh, for him uh, to uh, uh, introduce a non-abelian uh, topology uh, into this uh, kind of problem. Uh, then uh, we end up with uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, intrinsic uh, spin hole effect as uh, uh, Stuart and, and uh, Alan also uh, presented. So if we consider no, uh, non-magnetic uh, systems like uh, non-magnetic uh, metals or semiconductors and uh, uh, apply the electric field, uh, then the spin, uh, uh, the up spins and down spins uh, undergo a different uh, motion, uh, which is uh, due to the spin dependent uh, very curvature term uh, in this uh, semi-classical equation motion. And, uh, uh, be, uh, uh, and uh, because of that, uh, the it will, it will uh, uh, induce uh, the pure spin current in the transverse way, like that. And uh, uh <coughs> as uh, Alan pointed out, uh, uh, 
uh, we, we are, uh, our paper is uh, almost at the same time as the uh, 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 Sinova's paper. Uh, yeah, in fact, uh, uh, when uh, before submitting uh, our paper uh, to science, uh, she just suggested uh, uh, that uh, we, we should uh, uh, communicate with Hai, Hairo and Alan uh, uh, because uh, they are uh, uh, experts in uh, steam transport, so maybe e they know uh, some things. And then uh, we were uh, very surprised to know that uh, 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 Alan and uh, Hairo uh, sent send us a reply uh, saying that uh, we are writing a very similar paper. So that, uh, yeah, so in, in that sense, uh, we are uh, almost at the same time, uh, although the publication date is somewhat different, but uh, they are at the same uh, time <coughs> uh, from a different point of view. So anyway, uh, uh, after that, uh, we extend this idea uh, to insulators, and uh, uh, natural extension uh, of this idea uh, is to use the mercury telluride, of course, uh, because uh, mercury telluride is a, is a zero gap semiconductor, uh, but uh, it is uh, described by the same Hamiltonian as the p-type, uh, cubic p-type semiconductor. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, it is a zero gap semiconductor, so that uh, to open a gap, open a gap we introduce a spin, and then we uh, calculate the uh, uh, spin hole uh, conductivity on it. Uh, but uh, uh, because of the, the uh, some uh, problems in, in, the de uh, in the definition of the uh, spin current, uh, there, there's some, uh, say, ambigu ambiguity in, uh, uh, say, uh, in interpreting this uh, uh, result. And uh, uh, at that time, we uh, finished our uh, collaboration uh, with uh, Xu Chang uh, uh, on this, uh, uh, topic, uh, but uh, uh, it was uh, it was uh, his uh, brilliance uh, uh, that uh, uh, Chan uh, uh, kept uh, uh, considering about that, uh, and uh, maybe they maybe he felt that uh, something is missing uh, in this uh, work. And uh, after that, of course, uh, as uh, everybody know, uh, this uh, uh, mercury telluride, if we say include uh, the uh, effect of topology. He, uh, uh, together with uh, uh, Andre and uh, Taylor, uh, they uh, uh, came up, up with the idea of the uh, topological insulator, uh, uh, realizing the mercury tailor quantum well. <coughs> okay, so so uh, what I uh, learned uh, from uh, Xu Chan uh, is that uh, uh, we, as a theorist, uh, we uh, construct uh, models, but the models uh, uh, should be uh, simple and beautiful. Of course, we can uh, build uh, any kinds of uh, artificial model, but uh, it is not a uh, uh, not, uh, uh, right way uh, to do that. Uh, the models sh should be simple and beautiful, and yet it should be applicable to uh, real materials. And uh, in this, uh, in building uh, models, uh, symmetry and topology play a, a key role. Yes. And uh, uh, along, alongside, uh, along these uh, lines, uh, I've been uh, uh, studying uh, various uh, type of uh, systems, and uh, I would like to introduce some of the uh, works I uh, did uh, uh, in, the, in, this, uh, in the context of a symmetry interplay of uh, symmetry and topology. So uh, uh <coughs> I, uh, for example, uh, studied uh, uh, Bismuth, uh, uh, and uh, I wrote a, a paper uh, in uh, 2006. Uh, uh, saying, uh, uh, proposing that the bismuth uh, alter same film is a 2D topological insulator. In fact, uh, I will I was to say that uh, it is a kind of a, uh, very uh, at a, uh, almost the same uh, period as uh, the mercury table uh, quantum well uh, paper uh, by uh, Andre and Taylor and uh, Xu Chang. So uh, in this uh, say uh, 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 material, uh, bismuth is of course a, a very heavy a heavy element, and uh, it has a very large uh, of coupling. And, uh, um, but uh, the problem uh, to make it uh, ins uh, topological insulator is that it is, uh, in fact, uh, not in insulating uh, system. Uh, but uh, bismuth is a, a semi-metal uh, with a very uh, small uh, hole pocket and electron pocket. So uh, in that sense, uh, it is very close uh, to, an insulate to an insulator. So if we, we make it uh, uh, insulating by some means, then it may have a chance to uh, be a, a topological insulator. So uh, uh, my idea uh, uh, was to uh, make it a uh, very thin film so that, uh, uh, f physically speaking, it uh, gives us uh, some uh, confinement uh, effect to make this uh, spectrum gap. And uh, it indeed, it is a case. So if we make it a uh, 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 one-by-layer uh, film, then the, uh, the first principle calculation says that it is uh, 
uh, insulating. And uh, we, uh, I have shown in this paper uh, that it is a, uh, indeed a 2D topological insulator. And uh, it is uh, somewhat related or motivated uh, the later uh, works of uh, uh, Bismuth antimony uh, alloy as a three dimensional topological insulator, and also uh, uh, Bismuth is a uh, uh, kind of a three dimensional higher order topological insulator. <coughs> so uh, uh, yeah, it has not been, uh, say, uh, 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 observed uh, until uh, some, some years uh, later uh, than. Uh, this uh, proposal, uh, and, and this is because uh, this uh, one by the abysmus is not uh, stable uh, by itself. Uh, in fact, uh, it undergoes some uh, structural uh, transition to other uh, type of uh, structure, uh, but uh, uh, by e, e doing some uh, e e intricate uh, 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 methods, uh, uh, some uh, in, in some uh, experiments, uh, they have uh, managed to measure uh, that uh, effect of a uh, uh, 2D topological <coughs> insulating uh, state in bismuth. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, uh, so this is an ex exfoliation of bismuth uh, from uh, the bulk bismuth. So uh, they measure the conductance uh, immediately after they peel off uh, one by layer, uh, like that. So it is a kind of very delicate uh, experiment, but uh, uh, it seems uh, to show that uh, there's a conductance uh, plateau uh, like that, uh, which e E, which uh, suggests that it might be a 2D topological insulator. And uh, uh, there's also a STM uh, uh, measurement uh, like that, and uh, showing that uh, there's a, at, a, at this, uh, at this uh, terrace, uh, at the edge of the terrace, there's a uh, edge state, which is also a hallmark of the 2D topological insulating state. <coughs> yeah, and uh, uh, after that, uh, I, uh, I, I've been working on uh, some uh, uh, interplay and uh, uh, of uh, symmetry and topology also. And uh, this is uh, uh, one of our my uh, favorite uh, works of mine. So uh, let me uh, explain uh, uh, this uh, uh, work uh, in the following. So, <coughs> so this is uh, the uh, universal uh, phase diagram uh, with uh, between the topological insulator and the non-topological uh, non insulator. So here the topological insulator means that uh, means a uh, uh, three-dimensional uh, strong topological insulator uh, characterized by the uh, Z2 topological number. So uh, uh, the meaning of this uh, phase diagram is, is uh, as follows. So in this case, uh, this uh, horizontal axis is the external uh, parameter which drives the uh, uh, phase transition. And the uh, uh, vertical axis here is the uh, degree of, uh, degree of uh, inversion symmetry breaking. So here, uh, this uh, horizontal axis is an inversion symmetric line. Uh, that if we are off this uh, line, uh, the system is, uh, uh, loses uh, the inversion symmetry. So the message of this, uh, say, a phase diagram uh, is that uh, if we, say, go through uh, the phase transition uh, when, when the inversion symmetry is uh, broken, then it, uh, some uh, wide semimeter phase uh, should uh, intervene uh, between these uh, two uh, phases, namely topological and non-topological -top uh, phases. So uh, let me e e explain wha what, is the, what is the key of this uh, phase diagram uh, in the following. So uh, the key, e e key of this uh, phase diagram is the, the uh, topological aspect of the wild node. So <coughs> as has been uh, 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 mentioned in some uh, previous uh, talks, uh, in the uh, wild simulator, uh, there's a, a 3D diacon uh, 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 like that uh, in the uh, three-dimensional phase space. So <coughs> what, what is uh, interesting about uh, this uh, wild node is that uh, this, uh, is, this is a topological object. Uh, namely, if we say calculate a very curvature like that, uh, uh, which is a three-dimensional uh, vector field uh, in case space, uh, then this wild node is uh, either a source or the sink of the very curvature. And the strength of the, of the source or the sink is uh, uh, quantized as an uh, integer, namely plus, uh, plus one or minus one. <coughs> So because uh, this uh, quantization, uh, this uh, a wild node is a, uh, say, topological object uh, and a quantized object. So uh, because of this uh, quantization, uh, this uh, uh, gives a strong constraint on how the system changes and uh, uh, a contains change of some external parameter. So here the, uh, the parameter means some, uh, some uh, external parameter to be to, to, uh, to change the system, like uh, pressure or some chemical uh, composition or something. Uh, so in this case, suppose uh, we change some external parameter, 
and, and uh, suppose we begin with a wire semiconductor, uh, then uh, if initially if, if we have a monopole or anti-monopole, which are both uh, wire, wire nodes, and uh, by changing some parameter, uh, they uh, this uh, the wire node uh, may uh, move in case space because uh, this is a quantized object, so they cannot uh, change, they cannot uh, disappear, so they uh, can just move. But uh, if they happen to uh, meet each other, uh, then uh, because uh, one plus minus one is zero, so they can uh, annihilate each other and uh, they uh, disappear. So uh, then uh, because the wire node uh, disappear, uh, the it is uh, insulating. So there's uh, no, uh, there, there are gap uh, everywhere in the case space. So uh, because of uh, this, uh, uh, say, uh <coughs> Uh, property of the wire node, uh, the phase diagram is uh, like this. Namely, uh, suppose we uh, begin uh, with a normal insulator uh, like that, and then we go through this uh, uh, arrow like that. Uh, then uh, what happens uh, uh, in the band structure is the following. So if we go from uh, this side to uh, this point, then the band gap closes and the wire nodes are created. So in this case, uh, because we are off this line, so inversion symmetry is broken. So roughly speaking, uh, if the inversion symmetry is broken, then the uh, system is like a Rasper split system. Uh, so I, I should uh, uh, I should have mentioned that uh, we we are uh, considering the spin of a couple system uh, with a time reversal symmetry. So in this case, the, the bands are uh, like a Rasper split, uh, like that. So the band minima is not at the high symmetry point, but uh, away from the high symmetry point, like that. So. The band gap closes at, uh, som at somewhere away from the uh, high symmetry point, like that. And uh, this uh, band touching is, uh, in fact, a uh, uh, monopole anti monopole pair creation in K space, so that the uh, wire nodes are created in pairs. So once they are created, because they are topological objects, they can move, but uh, they cannot disappear by, itself, by themselves. So uh, uh, when, uh, uh, as long as uh, uh, there's a, a wire node, it, it is a wire symmetry, but uh, after that, they, if they uh, meet, uh, meet uh, each other, then they, they uh, pairwise annihilate and uh, uh, they can open gap yeah, like that. So it is uh, what happens uh, along this uh, line. So, <coughs> so in this, uh, say, in, in this uh, change of the band structure, uh, the surface state uh, changes uh, in a uh, natural way. Uh, in the wire semimeter phase, there's a, a Fermi arc a surface state, uh, which is uh, like that in the case space, uh, surface brain zone. And uh, uh, as the, uh, say, a, a wire node uh, moves in case space, uh, this uh, Fermi arc uh, enlarges. And then uh, uh, at the uh, phase transition point here, they merge together to form a closed uh, 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 circle like that. And uh, it is nothing uh, but a, a surface data cone. <coughs> so uh, uh, why this ki kind of a phase transition happens uh, can be a, a <coughs> Uh, understood by uh, counting the number of uh, parameters. Say uh, in, in this uh, uh, kind of a uh, uh, system uh, with a, a general K point, uh, we can uh, describe the system uh, like this. Uh, namely, there it can be described as a, a two by two Hamiltonian uh, with uh, three independent parameters. So, but uh, in this case, uh, we have uh, uh, four tunable parameters like KX, KY, KZ, and M, uh, where M is an external parameter. Uh, so that uh, uh, this is uh, uh, this four number four is uh, larger uh, than the number of coefficients, uh, uh, namely dx, dy, dz. Uh, so that uh, uh, the uh, gap closing point uh, forms a curve, and uh, namely the world line of the uh, gap closing point forms a, a curve in the four-dimensional kx, ky, kz, m space uh, like that. So uh, so. If we draw this uh, word line of this uh, gap uh, closing point, uh, then uh, this uh, minimal point in uh, in the m direction is uh, is the point of the uh, pair creation of uh, uh, wire nodes, like that. So it is very natural to have uh, this uh, pair creation in case space. But uh, I it is not the end of the story. Uh, in fact, uh, there's a, uh, some uh, uh, delicate or subtle uh, interplay between the symmetry and topology. Uh, for example, in the in the case of an uh, inversion symmetric ca case, uh, the band uh, uh, band structure uh, change is uh, not like that. So if the, if we keep the inversion symmetry, it, uh, then the phase transition is somewhat simple. Namely, the gap closes at the twin point, time reversal symmetry, uh, time reversal inversion momentum. 
uh, in case space, and uh, immediately after that, uh, the gap opens like that. And uh, uh, this, is, uh, has, this has been uh, observed in uh, several materials. And uh, it is natural uh, because uh, 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 this, in the inversion uh, symmetric system, the uh, Z2 supports number uh, is uh, written as a, a parity eigenvalues, values. So it is uh, nothing but a band's uh, inversion between the odd parity state and the even parity states. Yeah. So uh, in this uh, case, uh, in the inversion symmetric case, the, uh, with a timeless symmetry, uh, the number of parameters uh, are somewhat uh, change, changes. Uh, because in this case, uh, the Hamiltonian is a four by four matrices. Uh, four by four uh, matrices are uh, described by the uh, uh, five uh, direct matrices. So, so we have uh, uh, five uh, uh, coefficients. So it is uh, impossible uh, to make these uh, five coefficients to be simultaneously zero uh, only by tuning four parameters. So uh, in this case, uh, in general, the, the gap does not close in general, uh, but the exception happens uh, when, the, uh, when the K point is at the twin point and the uh, conduction and balance bands have the opposite parities. So in only in that case, uh, the number of uh, 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 gamma matrices is, uh, is uh, uh, reduced to one, and the two number of parameters is one. So in that case, uh, gap closes at uh, twin point. So uh, uh, this is, uh, in fact, uh, related uh, with the formula of the uh, Z2 support number. So in fact, uh, with the inversion symmetric uh, system, uh, the, uh, the Z2 support number is uh, given uh, uh, by the product of the parity eigenvalues at, uh, at a twin point. So uh, this is related with the fact uh, that, that, that the gap closes only at the trim point. But uh, on the other hand, if, if the inversion symmetry is not there, uh, the, uh, the Z2 topos number is given uh, as an integral over the K space, so that the gap can close at any uh, K point in the Brian zone, and uh, this uh, is reflected in the change of the Z2 topos number. <coughs> and uh, so, yeah, this, this uh, phase diagram can be I, I verified in, in some uh, model calculation uh, by adding some uh, inversion symmetry breaking term to the full chain um, uh, Meles model. Uh, let me skip that. And uh, uh, for the uh, last part, uh, let me I extend uh, this idea to more generic uh, system. So uh, we I consider this uh, kind of question. Namely, we start with any band insulator uh, without uh, inversion symmetry, but with time reversal symmetry. And the spin of coupling, coupling is a uh, say, uh, assumed here. And uh, suppose we close the gap by changing some uh, external parameter, so uh, like that. Then uh, what is the next failure here? So one might uh, consider it might uh, open gap again, or it might go to a metallic state or something else. And uh, this uh, kind of uh, question can be answered by classifying all the cases. So uh, it depends on the system symmetry and also the K point. Uh, at which uh, this abandoned closing occurs. So we can classify all the cases. Uh, so we are considering the inversion asymmetric uh, cases. So these are yellow uh, are the, all the uh, space groups uh, without inversion symmetry. So we classify all the cases and all the K points. And uh, <coughs> the uh, problem is very simple uh, because uh, uh, we can in, in principle, we can we only have to consider the one uh, only have to consider the two by two Hamiltonian, uh, because in 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 these cases without inversion symmetry, the bands are uh, uh, without uh, degeneracy at a, a point away from the twin point, and the band minimum is uh, uh, at a, a point away from the twin point, so that the, uh, the conduction and balance band uh, which, which touch each other. Uh, free from uh, degeneracy. So we should uh, consider one plus one, namely two, two by two Hamiltonian. So the problem is, uh, is very simple. Uh, but uh <coughs> uh, so uh, let me uh, have some exercises. Say, uh, for example, if we have a C2 symmetry, namely if the K point is, uh, is on the C2 axis, then the uh, band uh, touching is uh, classified in terms of the C2 eigenvalues uh, of the conduction balance band. And uh, if, uh, if they have the uh, same signs, then there's a, a, a band uh, level repulsion uh, uh, between them. So the gap cannot close uh, by changing uh, uh, one parameter. But uh, if they have uh, different signs, then uh, we can easily show that uh, this uh, gap closing 
leads to the uh, monopole, anti monopole uh, pair creation. Maybe the wire, no, uh, it goes into a wire semiconductor. And, uh, uh, but uh, this is not the end of the story, but uh, if we add more uh, symmetries, uh, for example, in the case uh, where the system has uh, two C2 axes uh, which are perpendicular to each other, and uh, the K point is on one of the C2 axes, then the, uh, the, 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 the story somewhat changes. So uh, if uh, the C2 uh, eigenvalue has the same signs, then previously uh, the gap cannot close. But uh, because of the additional uh, symmetry, uh, the gap uh, can close and it goes the Y semimeter. Uh, uh, but and, uh, for the different signs of the C2 eigenvalues, uh, it, it goes into a Y semimeter. So yeah, maybe I, I, I was uh, ending uh, one minute or so. So uh, the, the, the conclusion of this uh, story is that uh, uh, the gap closing in the inversion asymmetric system either leads to a nodal line semimeter like that uh, or the Y semimeter like that. Uh, but uh, uh, there, there are essentially two, only two possibilities, and uh, no insulator to insulator transition happens. And so, uh, in 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 many of the uh, uh, previous uh, works, uh, they they are somewhat related with uh, uh, some uh, sy systems uh, in which sim asymmetry, uh, and uh, th we we can apply this uh, scenario to uh, many of the previous <coughs> works uh, like that. So. so uh, because of the lim limitation of time, uh, I, I will not uh, go into detail, but uh, there are many uh, systems uh, which can be uh, uh, explained within this uh, uh, theory. <coughs> so, uh, uh, so this is our uh, last part. Uh, so we, for example, apply, can apply uh, our uh, theory uh, to Tellurium, uh, which is a, a chiral system. Uh, we, and uh, this has no, s no inversion symmetry, no mirror symmetry. And uh, in this case, uh, it is a uh, uh, semiconducting in the uh, ambient pressure, but if we, e, in the high pressure, uh, the gap closes and it, we can show that it goes into a wire semiconductor. So, so this is the uh, uh, last uh, slide. So uh, as uh, I have learned uh, many things uh, uh, from uh, Sutan, uh <coughs> especially on uh, how, how to make uh, models to capture the, uh, the beauty of uh, nature. And uh, it, I, I feel it is uh, our uh, responsibility uh, to deliver uh, this uh, student's uh, legacy uh, to our younger uh, generations. Thank you very much. Uh, question or comment? Briefly explain why this uh, bismuth uh, buckled wine, the, uh, why is the topological non trivial? Uh, yeah, it's a, mm, yeah, it's a very difficult question, but uh, yeah, in the sense of uh, this, uh, yeah, there can be various uh, explanations, but, but one uh, explanation is that uh, if, if you make it, uh, uh, say, flat uh, honeycomb, then it is, uh, it can be, the top, uh, topological, as the as this uh, Chenya uh, Meres uh, paper uh, suggests, and uh, it, it, for for this uh, uh, with this uh, buckling, uh, this becomes uh, non trivial whether it stays in the topological or not. But uh, it barely stays in the topological side, in a sense. But uh, it is very close to the non topological side. So it, by changing something, which it can easily go to the other side. Yeah. More question. Okay, if there's no question, let's thank uh, the speaker of all the session. Um, so before you go, so two things. Uh, one is we have a group photo now outside at the stairs. So let's uh, all go take the group photo. Um, and also please take, uh, every, take all your belongings because uh, they need to rearrange the room for the dinner. And those of you who registered for dinner and the invited guests uh, from out of town, certainly, uh, so let's uh, come back here in 6.30 for dinner. But, but before that, we have a reception outside in the same place as lunch, which is starting now. <laughs>